Welcome, welcome. This is the IOTA Community Governance Meeting on Thursday, the 23rd. Um, we are in a good mood, I think. Uh, time to use some fancy emojis in our chat and stuff like this, so everybody can have a little bit fun. Um, yeah, uh, governance stuff to talk about is... Oh, Linus, you have these cool emojis. I don't have them. Oh, I have them somewhere. <laughs> okay, cool. Hmm. <laughs> yes. You come to Dolby server, then we have it. I have, I have them somewhere, but they're not in my favorites, it seems, and it only shows yeah, me my works, favorites. That's impossible. <laughs> ah, you know. Anyway, um, I think uh, we have some some good stuff had over the last week we had the firefly beta release basically directly released after our last meeting um, last thursday and so the community is beta testing the new firefly wallet with the voting functionality and so far i have seen pretty good feedback pretty constructive feedback and uh, lot of things seem really to work very well. Don't know what's the impression of people. I, I hope you all had a chance to get a hand on it. I think it's I think it's good for a, a first iteration. I think it's need to see some of it in action because the votes are a little simple, but I think it runs really smoothly and uh, it's nice to do the adjustment on the voting weight. And um, yeah, I think it'll yeah. be cool to see it in action they've, they've definitely come a long way which is awesome yes i think also i mean there has been some confusion around this thing that your funds are like locked because i mean they're not really locked but for every once because what people naturally do they will they will submit all their tokens for voting power for governance and then when you want right. to do something different you always have to remember okay i have my tokens are basically voting currently so I have to get back to the governance stuff, free some tokens to do something else with them. This is something maybe we can in the future, uh, Firefly can improve this, have a little notification that is a little bit more clear um, how where the tokens are currently used and how you can get them back. But yeah, I also think it's pretty nice. Um, as far as I know from Firefly, there will be another release um for the beta tester group coming so they're working through some issues and some improvements because there's also this whole nft feature stuff um included which is also pretty nice and working really well but uh there are some additional things to to include in a new release so i don't know this if this is coming out um towards the weekend or in the beginning of next week that we have another beta with all the features that they want to include. So yeah, there will be a second test round needed for the next beta release until we are really ready to release the thing to the public, which in the end, okay. I mean, we have waited now a long time. Another week won't kill us, it'll, it seems, yeah. Um, yeah, but I think there are no bugs, there's no issues, everything works as expected. So basically we are really in a really good state and just have to mine out and figure out the last little things to make it really working well. What else do I have from my side? Oh, I've been working with the help of Dr. Electron very, very much on implementing the whole Every, basically everything that we have created in governance over the last couple of months for Shimmer, um, I want to have it all in, in our wiki because this is basically very likely the place where people will look for information. And also, whenever what, since we started the wiki, we always wanted to be the one single place where you can find and look up everything that is important and related to IOTA. So um basically kevin didn't have time to merge the pull request yesterday but um it should go online very soon i don't know in the next hours or something like this 
Um, I can show you a bit because I had, I did a couple of things. Um, let me share my screen. It looks like we did get it on. Is it live? I think so. I just clicked his link and... Uh, ah, no, that's like not live. Better. That's just his Versal app. So that's a basic a local... Uh, a localized version, but it's not live on the original wiki. But basically, let me see. Maybe, uh, but it's not iota org. That's wiki. oh yeah, it's iota wiki, and then yeah, it's it's the it's a local deployment from his Versal app. So here, basically, when it's on the wiki, it will be in the Shimmer wiki, and it will be under the Learn section. And yeah, yeah. it's not yet there. Okay. Um, so. I can show you. Yeah, it's still here. Um, so we implemented all those things under Shimmer, um, Learn section, and then we have a full section governance. This means mm -hmm. basically that um, here in the Learn section, um, it will be beyond Shimmer token, you will have a full section governance um, where everything around governance will be uh, will be talked about and what we have implemented is first a little um, a little introduction i was writing just basically um, what we do in governance in, in shimmer so basically what are the, the things how do it, does it happen we have our discussions here in discord we have the governance forum and then we have Firefly as a voting tool currently. Um, everything is depending on the stuff that we have defined in the Shiva governance framework. Um, a little summary about uh, the three phases that we go through, phase one, phase two, phase three for the proposals. And um, a short stuff about how the Shimmer on-chain voting works with uh, the Hornet plugin for the for the registering and counting of votes and with Firefly. And um, yeah, a little, ex a very short explainer about the basic functionalities, how we vote. Um, and I added some resources. I also added the resources about the, the, um, the, the stuff that we had from IOTA before, the IOTA treasury website and the old IOTA governance repo for the first vote we did. So this is going to be one part that's going to be in the wiki. Um, then the whole thing is basically the whole governance framework. And what I did here is that I removed um, parts from the proposal because the proposal was basically written like we as the governance group propose to implement this governance framework because, and then we had motivation and all the things. Um, in the wiki, uh, it doesn't make sense to put a proposal up there. So what I basically did is that I only did put the specification. So what all the things that we have basically defined to be current state of the rules. Um, and I've just left out all the all the, the the things that explain why we want to propose this and why we did all the stuff. So basically, currently this is like how it is done. Yeah. So we have all the specification uh, with all the points um, with the table that we have created where everything is clarified. Basically, this is very much the complete thing as we have it in the proposal. Um, I did from time to time where it there were still some text points in it where where it was speaking of okay we propose this um stuff that i have then just changed like saying okay it is now like that yeah without the proposal style everything else is really just the same stuff um so all of the the phases are described all the voting is described everything that we have developed over this couple of months the parameters for the admins all this stuff is there and like this it will be shown in the wiki 
the rationale I left, um, also then the, the glossary and the resources. So this is the big governance framework. This will show up in the wiki, so it will be easy to find for everyone. Um, and also what I did is the uh, this little guide um, how to vote in uh, how to vote in the Firefly wallet. The pictures don't show up yet correctly, but they will hopefully in the wiki. Yeah, so this is this little guide that I released for the Firefly beta testers. Um, basically a little descript description how you vote in the Firefly wallet and that's there. Also what is prepared, but it will not go live tomorrow is the whole uh, grant committee uh, operation specification, I call it now, because it was again here also, it was a proposal, but once this is voted on, hopefully, um, it is, let's say, a binding decision, and then it's not a proposal anymore, then it's just a specification how things are done and how the treasury will operate. And then basically everybody that wants to know, okay, we have a shimmer treasury, what are they doing and um, how does this whole work? We'll find this specification information in the wiki. This is the original proposal, like we have designed it with everything, like it's in phase two currently in the, in the, in the forum. Just I left out again the motivation and stuff like this, what we have in the beginning to explain why we propose this stuff. Because once it is voted in, it is, it is had the community has made a decision and then it's a, it's a specification that is uh, binding. Yeah. So that's basically what will hopefully go live soon. Um, the good thing is then, first of all, in my opinion, the wiki is much easier uh, easier to read, especially. Yeah, we have it in the governance forum, but what I don't like in the governance forum is like basically it's very, it's it's very narrow the thing that you can read. Yeah, and so you have to scroll a lot. And Wiki it makes it more readable and um, more accessible for everyone. Um, any changes to the Wiki here um, cannot be made by by the normal or basically everything that if anyone would wanted to change anything in those documents it would have to go through a pull request and this pull request would be uh, not approved because it will basically land on my table um, i would then always let's say if there is a, a valid improvement proposal for changing some things um, we can discuss it here in the group but any changes to this document after it has been voted in, uh, will will then need to go through proposal process and stuff like this. So once it is implemented in the wiki, um, there will be no changes in the wiki happening until not the community has made a decision to change certain parameters or stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what is coming up and um, Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll be live tomorrow. I'll, I'll drop the link then in the governance channel. Maybe also do a tweet around that. And um, then we will be good. And the community has it a little bit easier to find all the stuff around governance. Cool. What else? Um, I wanted to talk about something about... Um, the treasury thingy thing. So I hope everyone here in the call is on my side that says, we hope that the treasury will be voted on very soon once Firefly is live. Um, there need to be some things happening basically as soon as the vote has happened. Yeah? So let's say we have a vote and this vote will likely start on a Thursday and it will end on a Thursday. Um, usually what we do after these votes, we give the node operators some time to verify the results. I would assume this will happen, let's say we have a final result on a Thursday afternoon. Um, usually it will be good to give them time over the weekend 
uh, to verify the count and then all the node operators can submit their, uh, their results in GitHub like we do it always. And we have a clarity on Monday that everybody has the same count and everything is fine. And then we will likely on Monday uh, be able to publish the final verified results. From this time on, in my opinion, um, the committee would have a, le a, le a legal standing and uh, an, an, a mission by the community to start operating. And of course, um, I believe there is no time to lose. So basically what would need to be happening is that the elected community members would need to come together and start setting up the treasury uh, for real. Yeah. Um, I think you all know that we have an agreement with the Tangle Ecosystem Association that for the first iteration of the treasury, uh, the legal framework by the Swiss Association will be used so that every committee member is, is protected legally um, and acts under um, under a contract with the Tangle Ecosystem Association that in any case, in a, any action that will be taken will be under a limited liability protection from the contract with TEA. Those contracts are prepared basically um, and ready to sign. There are some small things I'm still going through with Anya, but this all will be ready. So what we need to do is um, sign those contracts. We will need to KIC the committee members. Um, we can use for this the KIC provider that uh, we always, have, basically that the EDF has used until now. Uh, we have an account with them from the from the TEA, from the Swiss Ecosystem Association. So we could basically directly have the committee members um, go through the KIC process and sign the contract. Once this happened, um, the next thing would be something like um, that the elected lead um, invites everybody like to an um, uh, yeah to a setup uh, meeting, and uh, one important part of this setup meeting will be the setup of the multisig wallet. Um, I don't expect uh, us to have the Shimmer multisig wallet ready at this time already. So basically, um, the setup will need to happen on Binance Smart Chain with the Gnosis safe, which is really not complicated, but just every committee member will need to be prepared for this. Have a MetaMask, have a ledger ready. And then I would basically say that the, in, this, in this meeting, the committee members together set up their, um, their Gnosis multisig. And once this is done, they will have an, an address and they can receive funding. Um, oh, so in that, it would yeah. be receiving just USD, I, I presume? Uh, yeah, USDT, very likely. USDT or USDC. Uh, I think we, yeah. we spoke about USD. This would be USDT on Binance Smart Chain. And sure. um, I've spoken with Dom and Thea, which are currently uh, stewarding the funds of the community. Mm -hmm. So that basically on this first day, uh, there will be shimmer, uh, there will be funds ready. So basically once the vote is, um, once the vote is verified, uh, shimmer tokens will be sold um, to USDT and moved to Binance chain to be ready to, to give them to the community treasury. Yeah. Um, that basically once this Gnosis wallet is set up and the address is verified and everything, um, a first charge of funds can be transferred to the, to the treasury committee and they can basically start operating. Yeah. Um, paying for the stuff in the Marshall Islands, um, yeah potentially um, have, there will always be some some costs, yeah, the, the legal costs for the lawyer things, some small stuff, um, and potentially also theoretically start to accepting grant proposals, yeah. I would 
hope that um, it then will be possible to basically put the the, the website live that JD has has designed currently because the system is, in my opinion, really excellently done with Airtable, with everything kind of prepared to be ready. Um, and uh, yeah, if whoever will be the program lead, I don't say JD will, will be it, but um, I hope that JD, even if he's not being elected, will be so generous to hand over the system to the to the committee so they can operate um, on this system uh, because then basically yeah. the, the the treasury could really start go public and say hey people ecosystem iota community uh, we are live we are ready to operate and we have funds available so if you have a great idea and you need support um, yeah support uh, submit a proposal and you might get a grant for this yeah, so in my humble opinion, maybe this would even possible to complete in a week, something like this from after the election. Yeah, So once we know it and everything is set up and the committee members have a little bit time to meet and set up and then f start to figure out the internal structures, uh, maybe after a week, this whole thing could be operational and ready to kind of await the first grant proposals. That would be kind of the optimal outcome, I think. Yeah, these are my thoughts uh, on that. Yes, when when you said the uh, sell some of the shimmer for USDT, we're not we're not talking about the whole fifteen percent. It's just no. like a, an initial startup yeah. deal for I, I mean salaries, administration, yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. for salaries and yeah. stuff. I mean, um, this is not something that will be sold on the market. So I think Dom has the ability to do an OTC sale. Uh, so this will not yeah be i was about yeah. to ask that yeah. because i would i if we are going to go public no. really public with that then we should also announce it that yeah there is an otc sale yeah we are not going to dump this on the market yes. because otherwise the price is going to go way south no, you can't i mean i was thinking of something like 50k or 100k or something like this and that's no problem yeah. um uh we can make yeah, this... if, if you have uh yeah. if you have somebody to do otc do it yes we will do that yeah. and so that will well, be yeah, and can, would, even, um... can even announce that in the community maybe there are some community buyers who want to go over otc as well uh Could yeah be. i don't i don't th i don't know if if uh dom wants to have the hustle of uh, working out conditions with 27 different people um yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that's the point that's the point i mean yeah. it's it's a suggestion it's dom the stomp's decision after yeah. all yeah i think it'll be something though for the committee to think about like that's something that we never really dove into um but i i was looking at algorand's um uh, governance which is actually pretty nice <clears throat> and they actually had a policy I was, I was trying to find it. I'll, I'll, I'll find it and post it. But their they have a, I don't know, I wouldn't call it liquidation, not necessarily liquidation, but when they sell Algorand, they have a, a very cool like um, conditions where they always pay a little bit. I mean, we're talking a little bit, a little bit more than market price. Mm -hmm. um, they, if the price drops, they, they, they sell it in increments. And yep. if the price drops more than five percent they stop selling mm -hmm. and then um basically all these little checks and balances to make sure that it's not affecting yeah. um the the market price i'll have to find that and post it but i think yeah. it's actually would be a good um that's, that's uh, at least a start for the yeah we we talked about that i mean i think we we even have it in the framework basically they will be always selling in small chunks and yeah. over time and things yeah but if there is a if there's a, a good strategy um or like a defined way to do this and algorand has has done a good job on that that find it and let's yeah uh, I'll, let's I'll follow that basically yeah yeah that's well, cool. cool so that that that's exciting then i think um we could start now the the same kyc uh contract signing with the tia yeah. will also include the top three voted that would work with the growth committee correct 
Uh, yes, they will do the contracts. They don't need KSC for for TEA for that. Um, okay. So the KSC basically is because just we have it in the in the framework for the treasury that the grant reviewers will will need to do KSC. TEA doesn't requ require it, but I mean then it's automatically happened already. So uh, it will be there. Yeah. Um, but it's the cool. it's the same system that basically Mark is using for for doing KIC mm -hmm. all the time with the EDF, um, and as the EDF has now or is now moving to Switzerland, they have already an instance with, I think it's called ID now, um, and they have an account with them, and so basically this is all ready and set up and can be, it's then a thing of it will take 20 minutes or something to do in a KIC. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, nice. Yeah, that's good. Here, I'm going to put it in the chat and then I'll put it in the governance. I just found it. Ah, so, cool. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. really good. Um, can we, can we yeah. touch base on the sort of KPI indicators that, uh, um, ah, yes. Yeah. Where, that, can, you trying to think about that. Uh, can you share it? Can you share it? Uh, yeah. One sec. Um, uh, where is it where is it where is it kpi metrics okay i'll put that in the chat let me go back there okay because uh just put it in there um yeah some of like the the way that it's set in the framework just trying to assess you know, in the framework, it'll say um, increase, like increase in Discord activity or Discord members in relation to community funding. I just don't understand how we could really pinpoint that a disc an increase in activity was from, yeah. you know, that's, that's very difficult. Let let me tell. Let me let me say it like this. I I know how. Basically, this was taken from Avo and from okay. others also. Um, you cannot really, uh, you could, okay, there, I'll give you some examples. Maybe let's see, there is, an, there is a proposal to do, um, to do uh, a great two weeks activity uh, thing for the community. Something like, uh, I don't know, you have an activity where people are incentivized to try out something, to make, get an account in the IOTA Discord, um, be active in the IOTA Discord and have a role or something like this. You could of course yeah. say that, okay, before this campaign started, the Discord had uh, 65,000 members and afterwards it had 70,000 members. So you can very likely say in these two weeks, if you have 5K new members in two weeks, which is very, very significant increase, you can say, okay, this is 5K new Discord members came in because this activity was funded by a grant from the, uh, from the committee. So this would be a, a KPI where I said, okay, yeah, you, the, the grant committee created 5K new Discord members. Yeah? So I think you have things that you could directly link, other things mm. not. Yeah? So mm -hmm. in the end, mm -hmm. if after a year, the Discord has 30K more members, then at the beginning of the year, I would say that KPI is kind of successful because whatever the grant committee is doing and the ecosystem is growing because of actions of the grant committee will have a positive effect on this but they are it's very difficult to make hard matrix out of that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. totally yeah okay what what else did we have there we have yeah sh we had discord member i mean how did we how did we um define it we have it down there here yeah um, success matrix, bottom. yeah. So growth in the number of grant applicants received quarter over quarter. So I think this is, of course, a very easy and measurable thing. Yeah, you have the first quarter, you have 50 grant applications, and the second one, you have 75. And if, yeah, so if you see an increase in grant application activity, that means basically 
seems the whole thing is popular. It seems to work. So you will, of course, have a, a strong first quarter. But if people don't get grants or they have a lot of problems with them, they will be very public and vocal about that. And this will likely lead to that other people say, no, nah, that's, I don't like the whole thing. It seems like it's not possible to get any grant of the, out of that. And you will have a decline number in grant applicants. But if this thing is growing, how we have seen it in most of the other grant um, systems out there, yeah, they start from a point, but they have usually a continuously steady grow in activities for grants yeah even not related to the market but even in 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 bear market they still have seen that if the grant program works well they have a minimum like constant number or a slowly increase in applications um then again from this would also come the, the growth in number of projects and ideas uh, funded yeah if you have more applications and you are able to fund more and potentially also have more funds available in the dollar value, you can get more funds out and more grants out. Community engagement, like I said, it's it's difficult. Yeah, Discord, you have forum, of course, we, this is all trackable, especially the forum. I think forum is maybe because it's directly related to anything around governance. Twitter is yeah. very opaque. Um, Discord, if you have certain activities, I would really look if there are things happening that are funded that are really community activity or like hackathon stuff and things like this. Um, I would try to keep track of those and basically include them in such a matrix where you really know that is a this is a grant that will likely drive um, community engagement and new community members track how much Discord members before and after or during the time. We have all this data. You, we can give it all from, from Discord, from Antonio has all the matrix there. And so for any kind so, of reporting, it will be easy to get those data. So I, I think um, I was listening to the, um, the magic meme guys and uh, uh, what do they call them? Angel babies or something like that. Um, it's a Cardano Ethereum project. And they're essentially partnering where if you hold a magic meme NFT, you'll get airdropped this Cardano NFT. So it's sort of like a cross chain NFT yeah. kind of partnership. And <clears throat> I thought it was really cool. And I, I asked them, I said, you know, um, it'd be awesome to like have data matrix data metrics on how many people are actually coming from one ecosystem to the other and vice versa and they said yeah no through the nfts we can basically um uh, uh totally see that and so i wonder if there's a way to almost issue an nft that gets linked to when someone signs on to discord um because then that would be easier to yep. uh, record that. I don't know if you and Antonio have thought about something like that, but I think it would be really good if there's better ways to track that. Like, hey, this ecosystem project brought in, you know, 1,200 people into the IOTA Discord, mm. or uh, this event that IOTA Foundation did brought in 500 people, and then same with us with the Absolutely. committee treasury. So if anyone what, thinks of you, um, you can you can do that. You can do things. I don't. I mean, you you see what Shimasi is doing. Uh, with Crew 3, um, this Crew 3 thing where you have where you have the tasks um, and you basically get these points and then you get rewards and stuff like this. You can, of course, also issue NFTs based on things like this. Mm -hmm. Can somebody yeah. mute yourself? Barry, mute yourself, please. Yeah, so basically when you are um yeah, i'll mute him okay yeah so basically when you have something like this um and you could create uh such a space in crew three such a campaign that says okay um sign up for the iota discord and get a certain role or a certain activity or something or even just sign up for the iota discord you get um then a registered thing, and you could then maybe use Sooniverse to drop them uh, an award, like a reputation, 
a reputation award or something like this. And so you could keep track on things like this. And with the new feature that Sooniverse has implemented today, where all the reputation and all the stuff is um, is on chain, you basically have an immutable, the beginning of an immutable reputation database for our community, which is really, really cool. Um, and yeah, things like this will be definitely possible. And if you if you fund such a grant from the from the committee, um, you could even make this say, okay, guys, uh, to really see also for them it's important because maybe they will have a milestone and they will need uh, a second paying after successfully reached a certain metric. This could be implemented to say, okay, then to keep track on how many people you bring in to the Discord or how whatever, you can use such tool like Crew3 that automatically reads out new Discord members because people link their Discord account, then they sign up for a Discord or they sign up for a certain activity or they fulfill a certain task. And so the project could then prove that they have this amount of new people brought into the ecosystem. Yeah, yeah I like the Discord with the, um, like maybe they have the governance um what do you call it? Not it's not the badge, but the governance uh, of art. Yeah, they have award. Yeah, you know, yeah. so if we track that, that would probably be a, a good indicator of who's co who's coming to get Discord for yeah. the governance, or or we'll make a maybe a community treasury uh, of wh whatever you call it. Mm. You know, yeah, I can yeah, make cool. have a space in in Suniverse and also do. I mean, yeah. but then it's a. I would not do it myself because there's a lot of manual work. I would always try to have the the people that get the grant um, for a certain activity or for a certain ecosystem or community growth activity, basically let them do the work because it's sometimes a lot of, it's not a much setup in Crew 3 is a little bit, but the rest is very much automated there, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, if it could be then connected to Sooniverse, this would be maybe something interesting to talk to Adam if there would be a possibility to automatically mint awards from points you get in Crew 3. Uh, this might be an interesting thought process yeah. to to get a connection going on there. Or maybe, I mean, I know Adam a little bit. I think if he, he's a, maybe he's already thinking on building this whole thing as a Sooniverse native uh, stuff. <laughs> so, so, I could I could imagine something like that. Mm. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> what else? We have another point here. Growth in Shimmer market capitulation that is driven by application projects funded via grant. Increased TVL in the EVM chain, increased amount of daily weekly active users, daily active addresses, and that, that, that. This, of course, is also a lot of those things are hard measurable metrics, yeah? If yeah. there is a if there is a new DEX or a new yield protocol funded, and then you have those metrics from the EVM, yeah, and you very much see how much TVL did they do they have, how much TVL did the whole thing grow, how many users did they get, how many daily active addresses and transactions and things like this. So also this stuff can be tracked. And it's pretty good um, trackable. There are even tools out there that do that automatically. So you don't need to do that yourself. You basically just pull the data from things like DeFi Llama and whatever matrix we will have then in our EVM chain where you can um, get those stuff out and you can very likely prove that the activity of the treasury committee has led to uh, a, a nice Im, uh, increase um, of amount of TVL and more active users in the ecosystem. Yeah? So this is again something that can be that can be proved. Yeah. Yes. And so, ah, look, we have said every six months these reports. I would say this is of course a minimum. Yeah. If yeah, if I think we can do quarterly. Yeah. Quarterly would be maybe good, but I think it's good to say every six months because otherwise there will be free pressure and people, if it's if it takes three months and and 
two weeks, people will start complaining because it's not there. So six months is nice. And everything more than that is is a nice to have and a good thing. Yeah. And I'm curious if anyone has seen good, um, you know, again, I was looking at Algorand. Uh, they have their transparency report, they call it. <clears throat> um, MakerDAO kind of has something. Um, yeah, it was just interesting to look at how other people present um, you know, funds used and, and whatnot. Uh, but um, if anyone has any real good one. Have you seen Bankless? Bankless, Bankless is doing that pretty good. Um, where is Bankless though? They have a notion. And they have a pretty, yeah, they have a nice a transparency report and a nice tracker for all their costs and sheets. Um, thank you. They, they update this a little bit. They have DAO partnerships. Mm. Because they have their treasury guild, and mm. so they have, oh yeah, so here they have governance. They have from the grant committee, I think they sh they will have from the grant committee already an expense tracker. But they, of course, they keep this usually um, simple. So they have, uh, they have a project list here, and then they have, um, they have the multisig meeting notes, blah, 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 blah. They have the weekly meeting notes. So they keep it all in in Notion here. They have a little task list. Um, okay. And prod, likely it's this here, the project list. Is it similar to Airtable? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, not, I don't there it is. So is it active, funding, little, little, little. Okay. Take a look then. Yeah. So they have this for grants committee and I'm very likely they also have it for the whole DAO um, because grants is just a, just one thing, but they have their, their whole treasury committee where they have all the expenses of all the guilds um, where is it here? Legal analytics. Yeah, treasury department. Oh yes, here they have the guild funding and okay. department funding and previous season fundings. Um, also, I think these are always just notion um pages notion pages okay they have specifications here okay yeah. and i have the compensation breakdown and the things uh, like this yeah so bankless is doing yeah, this okay. it's very transparent like i said you don't need super complex um fancy stuff this notion yeah. or a table air table things or even a google sheet usually works very well if if you have the the transaction data there so everybody that really wants to see things on chain you have the hash or you have the, the link to the Explorer somewhere linked. And um, if people really want to look up things, they can find it in the Explorer and it's all fine. Yeah. yeah. That's what I've seen like some uh, DAOs, like one, they won't put, you know, the USD equivalent. So it's always sitting there kind of with a calculator to try to yeah. understand yeah. how much is being spent. And then the other side is like, it's all written in paragraph form rather than like just an accounting balance sheet where you can just look at it and be like, oh, okay, they spent this much, they had this much, this is what it is. And you're almost like reading a book, which I think is good. It's detailed, but it's almost hard to understand mm -hmm. rather than making it easy to understand. Um, but yeah, no, I'm looking at the bankless one. It looks like they kind of use that accounting, um, which I think would be better where, you know, Hey, this is how much SMR, this is how much USD, and here's the hash transaction if you want to dive into it. But yeah. you know, yeah. quick overall, 
type yeah. thing. You know, and sense. especially once once the treasury, once the committee is elected, um, what will be super easy is I can uh, I can arrange a meeting with two three people from Bankless that I know very well. They are super mm. great and super helpful people. I'm sure they will be happy to hop in a in a one two hour call. Um, if there are specific questions around whatever topics, could be the, the, the accounting, could be treasury management, could be whatever things, they are really great guys and they, they are always happy to help and always happy to... And so if the if the grant committee says, hey, we have a couple of questions, um, we're struggling to find the best approach, mm -hmm. let's find somebody that has done this a little bit longer and has some experience in it and they're usually they're great guys. They're also not only in Bankless. M many of them are part of other DAOs, other grant committees. They are in MakerDAO. They are in Avo. So they have quite a, quite a lot of experience, and they're usually easygoing and happy to just hop in a call for an hour and go through some some questions. I'm sure they will help us. Yeah. Nice, excellent. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what else? So I don't know. From my side, that's that's it. If anybody has a topic to talk about or something to bring up, um, speak freely. I think that's pretty pretty good. Yeah, I also think. Like I said, I'm I'm impatiently waiting for Firefly. Like all of you, I. I'm sadly not a dev. I can't do anything. The only thing I can do is test and test and test and test. But I haven't found any buggies in the whole voting thing anymore. Um, I know there are some some issues still with Wallet RS that need some little polishing to make it to make it good for some edge cases, also around NFTs. And of course, yeah, we'll have to understand that they won't do a governance release and then one week later an NFT release. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, so we'll combine these things, we'll thoroughly test it all and release it once it, it's ready. And then we vote and then everything will turn out fine. Yep. Okay, until then, um, a last round of emojis is allowed. And <laughs> otherwise, We'll just uh, see you next Thursday, same time, 3 p.m. Uh, hopefully then we have some more concrete news, potentially a date or whatever, when we'll be able to start this whole voting thing. Okay? All Until then, right. see you all. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you. Bye, Philo. Bye-bye.